The thing about Singapore is without the tall buildings and everything else, it is really windy. The reason why Singapore was actually there was, of course, because of the wind. The trade winds blow, like, directly into Singapore. Basically, uh, two times a year, pretty much, without the skyscrapers there, and without the buildings there, basically... Well, I mean, it was a trade village. Uh, I built all the... I had a bunch of water mills and a bunch of stone mills and a bunch of stuff. The reason why I was working in Singapore is because the, is because the steel manufacturing was good, and there's a lot of wind. Singapore was actually a bit, I believe built, I believe it's Singapore was built because it was known as the Windy City or something. The trade winds basically blow right into it, pretty much. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's the trade winds where it's like windy 70% of the year or something. One of the cities, either Hong Kong or, or, or Singapore. I get them mixed up all the time. But <clears throat> basically the trade winds, you can go right from America or right from another country right into Singapore. Just like, you can just basically go straight across where the trade winds basically... And basically, so so Singapore gets blasted 70% 70 per, 70 of the year with, with high winds. Like, like without any big buildings there, it'd be like 200 miles an hour, mile an hour winds, basically. Like, and, um, and, and that's one of the things, too, is, is that the wind was really bad. And the waves would just come in from the ocean, just like, and just go, like, like, like three times a year, you'd get like, monsoon, run for the hills. And there's actually and there's actually probably mining and and also some cities underground up there because the storm sometimes would be like it's God's wrath ah you know like like Singapore was one of those cities where it's like really bad and so bad that you didn't even have to wash the streets sometimes the the water would just go you know because. I believe maybe there might have been a big mine underneath the ground way down deep. We might have been mining coal or something. We mined it out and the thing might have dropped or something like that. I'm not exactly sure about Singapore as far as, you know, so much has happened there uh, and it's so old. It used to be it used to be textiles and we were using the windmills at, to, to, to run the textiles and stuff like that. It was free energy that way. I had one windmill or two or three windmills there. Basically, up on the mountain, there's like this mountain where where I used the mountain's curve and then some added some steel structures and the wind would just go and go and go up the turly thing. There's these big things, and you could look up in the thing and you'd see these big towers <clears throat> up in the distance, and they're wooden or steel towers and basically they had, they had all these big windmills on them and they would turn and they would turn a belt that went down to the ground and would run a textile and a sawmill. <laughs> And basically it had these big stones and they would start to turn and they would, you know, the wind would blow and they would hit the, uh, the, 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 the louvers. There's, there's these big louvers and it, there's a model of it basically, these big louvers. And as the wind came along the flat plane, uh, it would hit the boards and everything else like that. It hit the louvers and then it would basically start to turn them. And then they would all, there's like five or six of them turn or put a thing as a test project and to see about wind power. And it worked because it was like a wing, you know, it was like, you know, as the wind came up, it would hit it and then be diverted directly up. And so it also calmed down on the wind because it created black, black back pressure. And, and they put up like five or six of these or something like that. And they noticed that there was an effect. So then we started putting um, one by the ocean and, and it worked pretty good. And we noticed that the wind was blocked behind it. <clears throat> But it also caused a problem for the shipping too, because the ships couldn't. The ships were losing their wind. You know, it actually started to have an effect on the on on the trade winds or whatever, or the wind that would that would hit it. Anyway, though, it's a it's a big long thing, and it was over a couple hundred years. And I was like, yeah, let's invest in that. And I invested in a couple, and they worked really well. And it was an alternative to, to to water power, and and steam power. And that worked really good. And then uh, and then I built some more and built some more and then you know built some more and then I invested huge. <laughs> And they saved their money and pulled their resources. And unlike most most people who just blew their money, when I when I was was in power and I took and I took it over, I basically invested the money. I was like, we're gonna build this, we're gonna build that, we're gonna build this, we're gonna build that. And we were just printing money like crazy, but we were making money like crazy, kind of. And it actually kind of balanced out until some people just basically started shooting. And then of course there was defending. Basically, mostly it was like the Harlem and Wolf, um, like like uh, like Queens. Um, I, like black, basically. When the black people came to power, or got a little bit of power, they really ruined everything for the world. And tried to kill me and basically erase me from existence. 
And that's very sad and unfortunate. <clears throat> but I still got my casino on, on, on a sky rise. And realistically, they're not really supposed to make that well, all that much money. It's mostly just repaying. It's basically just getting money from the for, 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 for the people that, that 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 made the money or whatever to pay for the system. Like I say, it's Japanese or Chinese run, and pretty much or or, or whoever run, and pretty much it's basically just paying for all the labor that was going into it. Because on when you're working on on Singapore scale, you got to do things. And besides, it was like it was, it was almost like like Queens in that um, or or. Um, or a Louisiana in that the water the wind would blash the city like crazy and when they built the the added on thing they were really because I think it used to maybe even be a slate quarry or something like that I don't know there used to be some sort of quarry down there I don't know what the I forget what the deal is with Singapore actually like like I like I lost involvement with it basically because it was somebody else was taking it over and and like I say so at some point I had to pick my battles but it is my city. It is my base, and I did have a base there that that, that was not overrun. I don't know, at least for a while. Like I say, I was under, under heavy attack, pretty much. <clears throat> All right, people found themselves under heavy attack, and they had to like evacuate to certain spots and work with the local population and basically secure themselves for their lives. So it became really bad, you know. And pretty much, it's because I, uh, I mean, I own a lot of military stuff, and I was just trying to protect the children and protect everyone, you know, keep my Germans alive. Because my Germans were really great people. They were really smart and really intelligent, and they were just, you know, maintaining peace and order, you know, and then the British people. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like a worldwide thing, you know, just, just like protecting for the children and keeping everything fine. And Singapore went downhill, mostly, like I say, the Vietnam era, Nixon, JFK, basically plunged the world into chaos and um and it was really 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 bad where where you couldn't even step outside without getting hit by a sniper bullet um or you know some black guy was going to come up to you and be like hey uh, give me your girlfriend oh, oh 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 yeah oh yeah 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 that feels good oh and he would do that right in the public in the street so had a couple other uh so-called america or u.s united states army people they would just grab a girl and just, you know, you'd be walking with your wife and they would just grab you, grab her and just do her right there on the street. Oh, yeah. And then maybe, and then if you're lucky, he didn't shoot you. And then they would walk away. And that was pretty much Singapore and a lot of these other places. And that was basically going on publicly. Like I say, it's my base, it's my site, you know. I had people there and, like I say, and then they covered it up and tried to pretend like it never happened. And all that other stuff. It's like, yeah, there's lots of death there and lots of destruction and and basically lots of rape. Rape of Chinese, rape of everyone. And it was mostly done by the black people and some uh, so-called army people. But anyway, they didn't really have much much right more than they had a gun. And it was basically, basically chaos. It was basically nobody knew about me. Nobody knew I owned the place. You know, nobody knew about my armies and... And I, there had to be a war, and lots of people died, and and is and another thing is people would just walk in with guns, and they would just <laughs> <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Greg, give me that bitch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels good. Oh yeah. Okay, grab the purses. Let's go. And that's what was going on around the world for the longest time until people got guns and they, and mostly like i say mostly it was the chinese that the, the, the chinese started started wearing guns underneath their armpits and they would just walk around they'd be like and they trained every day to use that gun so when they saw someone they're like Pow! and then um you know they, they did like the southwest like you wouldn't believe and they were just and they were just protecting that's it whenever they saw someone go, go psycho they would just they would just you know, and the Japanese uh, basically did the Southwest like nobody else, only in the right way. And they basically just protected everybody and saved everyone and pretty much were heroes. You know, and it was really bad. It was really, really bad. 